Hello everyone and it is a vlogmas day 5 I think it is, I have to double check so it's 20 days till Christmas, OMG, 20 days till Christmas everyone um, this morning's been really hectic, like really hectic I've only just got out of the door and it's nearly 12 o'clock I'm off down the charade because I've got to get my electric because we have keys um, and we've just, yes I can hear you all saying this, oh my god we've just put our heating on um, we never did put it on the other day and we've put it on today because we was a little bit worried you know you haven't had your heating on for so long is it going to start bloody well and fingers crossed so far it has um, so yeah that's a good job done so now we've got heating on the house um, and we don't really use it all day long we only have it like in the mornings for a couple of hours and then in the evenings because uh, that's all we really need it for we've got an electric one if it gets too cold but yeah so that's what we've been doing so far um, so I'm just going down the road and come back I've got to get Edie and take her for a walk and then I don't know what oh and lunch it'll be lunch time I'm starving actually I've been eating my breakfast a lot more earlier so I get hungry a lot more early as well but yeah um, a little bit drizzly today as you can see I don't think it was a frosty morning because it had been raining most of the night but yeah so let's see what today means I love doing these progresses it's really good so I'm just walking to Edie it's very quiet out and about today like, it's been like this for a few weeks now but around here it's really quiet I know the kids are in school but you should usually get a lot of people walking around in there but yeah Walking Edith now. Duh. Edith has decided she's very interested in my Christmas tree. She got told off earlier because Daddy caught her with her head in it. I don't know why, but I keep catching her. I don't have chocolate on it, and if I do have anything like on it, I put it right up high so she can't get it. But yeah, acting a bit suspicious, my dog is. She's literally pulling me here. I think she's looking for cats. <laughs> He's been a little monster, that's for sure. <laughs> so I've just been down the shop, I've got a few goodies for the boys. <laughs> and then um, I'm gonna do some lunch. Uh, and then we'll see what else I'll do in it later. <laughs> it's one of them days where you just don't know if you can get what you want done. The only good thing is it's not raining. And it was meant to rain here all day. It's quite cold. I've got a scarf on which I don't usually wear but it's not been too bad so yeah I'm going to love you and leave you because I'm just ranting my hair's like a mess as well and I can't really do anything about it but yeah, see you later so which day are we on? we are on number 5 there it is take this out Oh dear me. I've got a present. Yum. Edith has her own calendar too. So we've got to find what number? Number five. Number five. She's got me well trained this girl too. After a walk, she knows she gets it. Just wait. We found number five. These are so hard to get out though. So I'll use this thing to... Hang on! Uh, I shall pause it to get this out. Here's the treat. These are Poundland Rawhide and a friend calendars for dogs. And um, this is her first ever calendar as well. So you can tell she's very happy. Now I always make a sit for these. Sit! Good girl! There you go! Good girl! She absolutely loves them. But we always bring her out here because she makes too much mess as you can see all over the floor. But yeah, she's got her calendar now. Yum yum. We had a surprise. There is a bird in our thing, which is in the bathroom, because we took this off because we're decorating it. And uh, yeah, we seem to have a bird in here. I don't know where it's come from, how it's got in there. But poor Joe soon came out, bless his heart. 
it's hiding that it's shy oh bless it so we've got to try and get that little thing out I think it's only a baby to be honest um, yeah it does look like a baby so yeah I've got a bird in the house we've never Hi everyone, it's gone past 7 o'clock now, bit of an eventful day, uh, Kate went and met Jo up after college with Edie so she had a nice big long walk, I think I've knackered her out because she's snoring like a trooper over there, um, bit of an event for poor Joseph when he went to the toilet, <laughs> a little bird is actually in our thing which you've just seen. Um, we're going to leave that there for tonight and we'll try, I'm going to get it out tomorrow. It looks like a little baby, so we'll see. Um, I'm going to have to decide what we're going to do with the poor little thing. Seems alright, Seems it doesn't seem like anything wrong with it or anything, but it might be a case of um, finding... Well, I don't know really, I really don't know, but we'll find out anyway. So yeah, I thought I'd show around this video up. Um, we've got to see Edie with her little calendar that she absolutely loves. And tomorrow is, hmm, I'm not sure what's going to happen tomorrow. I ain't got to do the ferrets in the morning because I did them today. I thought I'd get them done and then tomorrow, I've got a whole day tomorrow. I think I'm going to try and do eBay tomorrow. I'm challenging myself to do that tomorrow. Um, and like I said, I haven't got to do my ferrets, so yeah and get the bird out so yeah we're all snuggled at the moment the heating's on very nice warm joe's busy getting on with his college work over there bless his heart he's got to get that in on friday but it's nearly there it's nearly done so yeah so that is it for frogmas day five and tomorrow will be frogmas day six i've also decided well not decided it's a tradition that we do that we're gonna go on Christmas Eve we're going to go and have our breakfast that we have at the Hungry Horse. Um, I just made sure that the boys are still alright to do that. It's a tradition, we do it every single year. We go for breakfast some, somewhere for Christmas Eve and the last couple of times it's been at the Hungry Horse. We used to go to Tesco's but Hungry Horse is much nicer. So yeah, I can't wait for that. That's another thing coming up. Next week actually me and Joe are going to Cambridge on the train. Fingers crossed the train doesn't get cancelled or delayed or whatever. Um, that'll be on Saturday. I think Joe's only got about two, maybe three weeks. Yeah, about two weeks left at college, I'm not sure. I know Joe's got quite um, work on Sunday at Bangor Racing. So he's quite excited about that because it's absolutely full to the brim. They're, they're completely full, but they are. they've made a little bit of a space so they can have a few more. So he's quite excited about that. So yes, yeah, I'm ranting again, I always do, I don't know why. I shall see you tomorrow guys. See you later, bye!